So the mainstream media is trying really hard to let everybody know that Agatha all along is a success for Disney Plus, for Disney Marvel. You know, it's the show that's not really made for you or I. It's made for just a really teeny, teeny, teeny part of the audience. Because remember, coming off of the Acolyte, which was promoted as the gayest Star Wars ever, the cast of Agatha all along, with a little help from the Access Media, has said that Agatha all along is the gayest Marvel show ever. That's a, that it's a gay explosion, which means the target audience for this show is real small. So here we have Rotten Tomatoes, first and foremost. Critic score, 83%. Audience score, 82%. Great. Glad people are liking it. I'm not going to tell you not to watch it. You need to watch it and make up your mind for yourself. However, notice here that you can't really go in and look at the, the reviews from the critics or the audience. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I've been known to be wrong. You can comment down below, but... Isn't there supposed to be a section here where you can click on and actually see the reviews? I mean, Rotten Tomatoes wouldn't make reviews not ac accessible because they don't want people to see the negative stuff. Hmm. Anyway, um, so I did a little perusing. Agatha All Along hits 9.3 million views in one week on Disney+. Plus, So this must be a success. It's got a lot of eyeballs. Well, when you dig deeper into the article and look at the numbers, the numbers. Now I'm going to specifically compare this to the Acolyte because remember, gayest Disney Star Wars ever, gayest Disney Marvel ever. So let's look at the numbers, shall we? The Acolyte, June 2024 Star Wars series that hit 11.1 .1 million views in five days. Well, they're saying Agatha all along hit 9.3 million views in one week, seven days. So just by their own numbers, how can you say Agatha all along is a success? It's a hit. When they tracked it two days longer, it still has less views than The Acolyte. In fact, when you dig further into the numbers, as I have, um, 9, 3 million, divided by 7, 1, 3, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, times 5, so in five days, just to make it apples to apples here, we got 6.6 .6 million views compared to the Acolyte's 11.1 .1 million views. Um, oh, and by the way, these numbers are according to Disney. It's not according to like Samba TV or Nielsen or whoever. It's according to Disney themselves. Like they've never fudged numbers before. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So according to WDW Pro, yeah, Agatha's down 40% compared to the Acolyte. The numbers speak volumes. But, you know, go down here. They got a couple of um, replies here, and these, these are fans of Agatha, which I got no problem with fans of Agatha. Just to be clear, I got no problem if you like the show. I'm just giving you the, the facts, the numbers. Your source, trust me, bro. F off, you cry baby. Really, that, that's how you're going to respond to somebody that's just pointing out the numbers, the facts? They got to make themselves feel better somehow. Wow. So, just to prove my point here, that there is a big push by the 
mainstream media, the shill media, that doesn't want to lose their access to Marvel for just, you know, reporting fact. Look at this here. I did a Google search. Agatha all along viewership versus the Acolyte viewership. And what do I get? Right off the bat, I get the Variety article. Then I get the, a Forbes article written by Paul Tassi, who's in a little uh, tip for tat right now with Star Wars theory. Uh, go down a little further. The cesspool that is Reddit. Agatha, Agatha all along, 9.3 million views in one week. IMDb. Agatha all along posts lower viewership numbers. Well, at least they're honest with their um, article over at IMDb, which it links to another article somewhere else. I've already checked it out. Uh, Reset era. Agatha all along premiere in chance. 9.3 million views. Agatha all along brews up solid premiere audience. Agatha all along falls behind the acolyte viewership. Okay, I already got that. Agatha all along viewership numbers are in. 9.3 million. Agatha all along premiere in chance, 9.3 million views in a week. So there you have the media spin. Now I will give credit where credit is due with Paul Tassie. He does state in his article after going through the numbers, however, you need context and the context with streaming services is almost always cost versus viewership. The Acolyte debuted strong, but viewership dropped significantly over time. Yeah, fell off a cliff. To a show reportedly cost $180 million to make. No, Paul, that show cost $230 million to make. You just made a $50 million mistake. It was $180 million British pounds. Just saying. Agatha all along, though, if you've watched the first three episodes, you know the budget for the series is significantly less than any of those other shows mentioned even if we don't have an official total. Minimal visual effects compared to others, just magic blasts here or there, and a lot of onset shooting between neighborhoods and the witch's road set. The last episode took place entirely inside three rooms of a house. Essentially, even the bloated face scene was made using prosthetics rather than VFX. Now, he's not right, or he's not wrong, I should say. If you put it in context... The budget for Agatha all along, one could assume, is significantly less than the Acolyte. However, if the viewership is lower than the Acolyte, even though the budget for the show is less, because of poor viewership, you run into the same thing you did with the Acolyte. Oh, and by the way, Catherine Hahn kind of let the cat out of the bag. Uh, it was an interview, I think it was done a couple days ago, where she basically said, we're only going to have one season. So there, right now, there is no plan for a second season of Agatha all along. So there you go. Just thought I'd point this one out for you all. Because the mainstream media, the shill media, is going to tell you that this show is a success. When the reality is right now, it's trending worse than the Acolyte did. If you apply the same metrics that they have to the Acolyte or Percy Jackson or Ahsoka. So comment down below. If you agree with me, fine. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. But I'm just reporting what I see. While you're at it, please take the time to give me a thumbs up. Smash that like button. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? The best way to support my channel and it's free is just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, thank you to everyone, both new and returning viewers. I appreciate you all. And I hope everybody has an awesome Friday. See you later.